it's Bev at the Rubber Buggy. Today I'm doing a layout background and using Heartfelt Creations flowers. I'm going to spray mist this touch of green because uh, that's my accent color for this page. Uh, the stenciling is then going to be done in this top corner using a the Crafters Workshop stencil. I use uh, modeling paste most often or gesso whichever uh, you would prefer one is a little thinner than the other. The stenciling and the pasting has to dry before you can work on top of it. Having done that, I then worked out the placement of my photo and I've taken another stencil and with this I'm using my uh, finger tool to blend the titling in it. I also am using many other Crafters Workshop stencils and adding a touch of color to the background that's very busy. The little touch of green and in this corner I'm adding the touch of burgundy red and I'm spacing them throughout the page um, on the outer edges of where I had determined where the photo was going to be. The next thing I did was I stamped the Heartfelt Creations onto cardstock. Um, having done that, I then did the die cutting using the Heartfelt Creation um, matching stamps and cutters as you can see in this photo. With the flowers all cut, I then am coloring them. Now you can do it with paint, uh, inks, or whatever you have. I like to use my Copic markers. The shaping tool and the felt pad and kit that I used is wonderful to work on. Using the stylist on the back side, uh, you firmly rub and have different uh, shaped and size uh, nibs. You then turn them over and you use the stylus to punch in the center. Um, this is my finished page and we will dissect it as I show you the breakdown. Here is the fabulous stenciling with modeling paste in the one corner and the chippy accent with a little tied ribbon uh, was perfect with the little bird and the paper that's being used. The stenciled smile title was done with the ink pads. The clock in the background is chipboard which was Copic colored. As you can see as we're going through these different little sections you can see how the little extra pop of color from the stenciling is just perfect. The background paper was serendipity. Um, if you take time and visit the store you can find the products that I have used, the hard felt uh, shaping kit, the die and the stamp that are perfectly matched for creating the floral cluster and also the fun um, leaves that are in the background, the chipboards. There are so many uh, Blue Fern Studio chipboards available in the store. I'm only sharing a few that I had available. Um, I also mentioned many times I love to Copic color chipboard. Um, the colors available make matching any page so easy. The Tim Holtz ink pads have all the fabulous colors that you need also to be mixing and matching and coordinating with any project that you're working on. It's Bev at the Rubber Buggy and thanks for joining me today.